everyone, what's up and welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited because today we're going to be doing live swatching and talking and gabbing and loving and vibing out to some fun makeups from ColourPop Cosmetics. This is part of their Back to Cool collection. You got an eye palette. That's right, these come in like a set. I shouldn't say palette, a set. An eye set and a lip set. So we're gonna try these both on because you guys loved it when we did that for their past collection. If you missed that, I will link that down below. Their other fall collection, I swatched it all on my, my face. <laughs> I'm so glad you guys really like that because I thought I had a lot of fun trying them on as well. Um, so yeah, we're gonna go ahead and get into it. These retail for $30, I believe. I don't have the exact date that they will be out, but if I find anything, it will always be in the down bar. If you guys are wondering what I have on now before we start this video, this is ColourPop's Clueless Matte Liquid Lipstick. This is part of the haul that I tried on. But let's start with the eyes first. I think that would be fun. If I could just get a little... A little something something. Oh, here we go. Okay, so first I really want to start with the eye collection. And I think I'm going to kind of do like lightest to darkest type of shadow sitch. This is amazing. <laughs> I didn't even put it on yet. So here's the first one. It's called Kush or Kush. It is so beautiful. This one really reminds me of Anastasia Pink Champagne, I think. Not exactly, but something about it is very reminiscent of that to me. And to use these, I have two particular brushes that I've liked using so far or lately. The Sigma Firm Shader E57 brush and the Sigma Blending E25 brush. They both put them on really really well and I do have a 20% off discount for all of Labor Day and that's it so all of Monday Labor Day Sigma Beauty will be 20% off with my discount code down below so if any of you are unfamiliar to ColourPop or if you're new this is kind of what they're like they're kind of like this moussey like spongy creamy texture you see and I kind of I just like to do one swatch on each eye so that I don't overdo it on my eyes but this really reminds me of pink champagne and I think this is just beautiful you could use this as a highlighter or as like an inner corner highlight as a lid shade like i'm doing right now but of course if you want a real like dark like super duper pigmented application you can always use your finger and that really packs it on i do like it it's just a really pretty shimmer you know it's not it might not be every day for Everyone, but someone who likes a brighter lid shade would probably like this. It's like an oyster color, I guess I would describe it as. Like an oyster, or like a shell. Mm. This next one kills me, it's called Crimper. <laughs> Do you guys remember when we were crimping back in the day? Look at that, Crimper. Ooh, sorry for my ugly ass nails. <laughs> I have this weird condition where I'm a human and not a Barbie doll, so sometimes my nails are ugly. <laughs> Clearly I've already had my grubby little paws in here. I always tell you guys, I can't wait. Oh, I, that's right, I swatched these on Snapchat. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. All right. Whoa, baby. Oh my God. This is, okay, if you do not own this for holiday 2015, you're doing it wrong. There's no doing anything wrong, I'm just kidding. But it would be a real shame not to use utilize this during the holiday season because it is so beautiful. I feel like an angel. But little do you know. <laughs> Sorry. I can't stop, literally. So, so far I love both Crimper and Kush and I feel like they're both really good ones to get because they're both gonna be perfect for holiday makeup. Easy, simple holiday makeup. Like if you don't have time to do the whole kit, cat and caboodle, is that how it goes? I don't know. If you don't have time to do like, you know, the 10 steps, this is really nice to just throw on the lid and like run to your holiday party after a meeting or after school or like whatever's going on. This next one, when I swatched it on Snapchat, like my heart died, I was so excited. This is called 90210. And I saw a lot of people on Instagram were really talking about this shade and on Twitter, I think as well. Just this beautiful brown with this really nice gold reflex. Just brace yourselves because I have a feeling this is about to be the greatest thing since sliced bread. Oh, wow. This is legit. Is this not, oh, I knew it, I knew it would be so perfect. Let me get a little bit on my 25 brush here. Kind of buff out those edges. Is this not the most beautiful brown you guys have ever seen? Oh, oh! <laughs> you guys tell me what you think, but I love it. I think it's such a neutral, like, wearable tone, but just to have that nice, like, little flicker in there, it looks really cute. I really like it. This is from Forever 21, by the way. The next one I'm gonna do is kind of in the same color family. This is called As If. <laughs> you guys know, what would I, what would I call this color? A puppy brown! It's something like the puppy brown color I always describe, where it's like, kind of like chinchilla-y. It reminds me of Dusty, my chinchilla. Oh wow, this is a lot lighter than I expected. 
It's not even going on dark at all. I really want to move to this brush because I think this will be good. Start with the gold flakes that won't leave my eyeball. That was really stupid to start with the glitter ones. You guys, this is the most beautiful shade ever. And you can wear this at any time during the day. Look at it. No matter how much I put on, it like doesn't get too dark. Okay, so the next two colors are so pretty. The first one, we'll do baby tea. And this one's called Melrose. But I don't know why I'm telling you them all at once because I'm just so excited. <laughs> I need help. <laughs> okay, so I want to start with baby tea first. This beautiful midnight blue. Oh, yes. Now, again, the gold glitter really is just from the previous glittery shadow. So I'm sorry I can't get it off. You know what they say. I'm not even going to repeat it, but you know what they say about glitter. It's like the herpes. It's like herpes. No, really. That's a really beautiful blue, though. Looks like I got punched in the eye, but it's pretty. Okay, now on to Melrose, which is, I mean, hello. This beautiful warm brown. Yes, oh yes, I love Melrose. Love Melrose, Melrose is bae, oh yes. But we all knew that, didn't we? What do you guys think? What was your favorite? I look, I look like a clown. I need to fix this and we're, then we're gonna dry the lips but I cannot go on like this. So moving on to the lip set, there are six shades as well, yep. Yeah. So the first one I wanna start with, I've had my eye on since I swatched it on Snapchat. This is called Choker, and mine's a little melted because um, when I got them, they were just a little melted. It was really hot when they were shipping. It's like really hot in New Jersey. We're going through a heat wave. Oh yeah. Oh my gosh, I love a sickly, deathly nude. And here it is. Oh my gosh, yes. But that is a beautiful nude, probably for me on the everyday. I might wear it with a lip liner. I also think I'm a little too tan for it, but well, I don't think I'm too tan for it. I think some people might feel I'm too tan for it. The next shade is called Baywatch. This is like a darker nude. I mean, a darker pink. Wow, I really love it. I think it's really pretty. What do you guys think? I know these shades aren't for everyone, but oh, it's so beautiful. And if you didn't want it this deep, you could always do more sheer with like a gloss, kind of like how I did in my last wearable fall makeup tutorial. You do it with this type of shade, but I thought, I think this is so, so beautiful. So the next one we're gonna try is called a Mosh Pit, and this is like a very dark, a dark rosy, or not even a rosy brown. Well, it might be. We, let's see, we gotta see. Hmm, this is not as dark as I was expecting, which is nice. Mm-hmm. This is what my lips are requiring for fall this year. Mosh pit. Three left. And these are looking colorful. Let's do out of sync. Hold the phone. Something about like a hot Pink like this drives me crazy and I love it. What do you guys think? I think it's so pretty. It's definitely an intention getter, isn't it? The next one's called TGIF and it's this really pretty red. Of course I think it's gonna be like nothing special or it's just gonna be every other red and I love it. It, um, I don't know, I, I don't know what, uh, but there's just something about it that I really, really like. There's just a tone in here that I like. It's like a whiny red. It's not like a real pinky or a, even a berry red. It's just a very neutral, yeah, I guess just a neutral red, but I really love it. I have to say we're on the last one, y'all, but it's going to be the funnest one for sure because it is a purple one. This one's called Too Sexy. So here is Too Sexy. Isn't it gorgeous? Just a really nice purple. What do you guys think? I think it's so beautiful. Anybody could wear this if you really wanted to have a fun pop of color. Alright you guys, sadly that's kind of it for this collection. I really hope you all enjoyed these swatches. I hope you enjoy my live swatching. Thank you so much Colourpop for being so kind and always sending me these PR boxes so that I can share them with my viewers. I totally appreciate it and I know a lot of my viewers really appreciate it too so that they can fully see what they want to purchase and so that they don't have to waste their money and of course it's just so nice that you do this for me so really thank you and thank you guys all so much for watching thank you guys so much for watching i love you so much please don't forget to subscribe and give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video thank you guys so much for watching let me know what you would like to see for next for tuesday's video thursday's video let me know i'm also filming my workout routine this friday so it should hopefully be up at the end of the week probably next sunday i love you guys thank you for watching bye